this video, you will get acquainted with a large project of reconstruction of the historical palace of Afghanistan and with the ups and downs of this historical palace. Construction of Dar al-Aman Palace began in the early 1920s as part of Amir Amanullah Khan's efforts to modernize Afghanistan. Amanullah introduced himself as the King of Afghanistan in 1926. This palace was supposed to be part of the new capital called Dar al-Aman, which was connected to Kabul by a narrow railway. Amanullah Khan invited 22 architects from Germany and France to build the palace. This palace was considered as a witness of the relations between Afghanistan and Germany. The palace is an imposing neoclassical building on a hill overlooking a smooth and dusty valley in the western part of the Afghan capital. Designed by French architects, as well as German architects, it was one of the first buildings in the country to receive central heating and running water. Intended as the seat of the future parliament, the building remained unused for years after religious conservatives led by Habibullah Kalkani removed King Amanullah from power in 1929 and halted his reforms. Partially completed, in later years, it served as a medical school for Kabul University, as well as a warehouse and headquarters for several ministries. The building burned down in 1968 and was later rebuilt to house the Ministry of Defense in the 1970s and 1980s. In the communist coup of 1978, this building was set on fire again. During Shanawaz Tani's failed coup in 1990, most of the building was damaged by tank fire. It was once again badly damaged during the Afghan Civil War in the 1990s, as rival factions of the Mujahideen fought for control of Kabul. The Mojahideen's heavy shelling reduced the palace to ruins, including the garage containing the former king's vehicles, which were removed and used as targets, all of which were eventually destroyed. The city was mostly used as a refugee settlement and nomadic camp until the early 2000s, and again when it became the headquarters of an Afghan National Army Battalion. In 2005, a plan was unveiled to renovate the palace for use as the seat of Afghanistan's future parliament. This budget was supposed to be financed primarily through private donations from foreigners and wealthy Afghans. The palace was one of several targets in a series of attacks that began in 2012 and were claimed by the Taliban. Finally, it was decided to build a new building in front of the palace to house the parliament under Indian funding. Construction was completed in 2015. In early 2016, work began on a $1.16, 20 million restoration project intended to restore the palace in time for the 100th anniversary of Afghanistan's full independence in 1919. Initially, nearly 600 tons of debris were removed from the 150-room building, and by spring 2017, workers were removing plaster and concrete from the interior walls. More than 80 engineers and architects participated in this project, 25% of whom were women. By 2019, most of the major renovation works at the palace were completed. In 2020, the opening ceremony was held as the palace was used as a temporary 200-bed COVID-19 isolation and treatment center during the COVID-19 pandemic in Afghanistan. The palace is a U-shaped adobe building built in European neoclassical style. It has three floors with 150 rooms, including the semicircular main hall. Its highest point is about 33 meters, 108 feet, above the ground. There are four dome towers on the roof. The galleries of the third floor of the south facade are decorated with a number of Corinthian columns. Each floor is connected by spiral marble staircases. Dar Alaman Palace, with a history dating back to the 1920s, is a valuable symbol of Afghan history and culture. Dar Alaman Palace is known as a witness of the historical relations between Afghanistan and Germany. This building not only represents German and French architectural skills, but also informs about Amir Amanullah Khan's efforts to modernize the country. With its European neoclassical design, Dar Alaman Palace is an artistic masterpiece. Corinthian columns, dome towers, and beautiful galleries represent the artistic taste of French and German architects. The location of this building on a hill overlooking a smooth and dusty valley makes it strategically attractive. 
This place is of great military, social, and cultural importance. After being closed due to war incidents, the palace was used as a medical school and the headquarters of the ministries. These multiple uses show the importance of this building as an educational and social center. The decision to restore and revive this palace in recent decades shows serious efforts to preserve the history and culture of Afghanistan. This renovation has been considered as an important national project and has given the Afghan community an opportunity to experience the beauty and history of this building. Dar Alaman Palace is not only a historical building, but also a symbol of independence and effort for the development and progress of Afghanistan, whose reconstruction shows the national will to preserve and promote its culture and history. In this trip to Afghanistan's past and future, Dar al Aman Palace stands as a valuable symbol of the history and culture of this land. From the beginning of construction in the 1920s until now, this palace not only represents German and French architectural skills, but also witnesses the efforts of Amir Amanullah Khan to modernize Afghanistan. The restoration of this historic building, despite the difficult periods and bitter moments it has gone through, shows the national will to preserve and promote its culture and history. This project has not only given the Afghan society the opportunity to visit the beauty and history of this building, but it has shown as a symbol of independence and efforts for the development and progress of this land. We hope that this palace, as a valuable work, will always witness the development and prosperity of Afghanistan. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Bye until the next video.